हेलो स्टूडेंट्स अज के टॉपिक सार्या का स्वागत है अज का सा टॉपिक है इलेक्ट्रॉनिक कन्फिग्रेसन ऑफ एटम्स आओ हमेशा की तरह डिस्कशन स्टार्ट करने तो पहला टॉपिक दे लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव्स शेयर कर लीए अपॉन कंप्लीशन ऑफ दिस टॉपिक लर्नर्स विल बी एबल टू डिफाइन एंड एक्सप्लेन ऑफ बॉस प्रिंसिपल डिफाइन एंड एक्सप्लेन पॉलीज एक्सक्लूजन प्रिंसिपल डिफाइन एंड एक्सप्लेन हुंस रूल discuss the distribution of electrons in various orbitals discuss causes of stability of completely filled and half filled subshells jadon assi periodic table te nazar marde ha ta vekhde ha ke jive jive elements vich electrons di ginti vaddhdi hai ta atomic number vi us anusar vaddhda hai किसी एलीमेंट विच इलेक्ट्रॉन्स की संख्या उस दे एटॉमिक नंबर दे बराबर होंगी है अगला एलीमेंट पहले एलीमेंट विच एक होर इलेक्ट्रॉन के वादे न बनता है डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ऑर्बिटल्स द फिलिंग ऑफ ऑर्बिटल्स इन एन एटम इज अ हाइपोथेटिकल प्रोसैस इन विच द एटम इज बिल्ट अप बाय फीडिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन्स इन ऑर्बिटल्स वन एट अ टाइम and by placing each new electron in the lowest available energy orbital this distribution of electrons into different orbitals of an atom is known as electronic configuration of the atom the filling of electrons in the orbitals of different atoms take place according to the off paus principle which is based upon the pauli's exclusion principle hence rule of maximum multiplicity and the relative energies of the orbitals let us discuss them one by one off bow rule is used to determine the electronic configuration of an atom molecule or ion an atom is built up gradually by the addition of electrons students do you know in the german language meaning of the word of bau is building up or construction it means electrons are filled up in orbitals of bau's principle states that in the ground state of the atoms the orbitals are filled in the order of their increasing energies or in other words we can say that in the ground state of an atom an electron first enters in the orbital of lowest energy and subsequent electrons are fed in the order of increasing energies the increasing order of orbitals in terms of energy is as shown on the screen 1s 2s 2p 3s 3p 4s 3d 4p 5s 4d 5p 6s 4f 5d 6p 7s 5f 6d 7p and so on this sequence can be remembered with the help of animation let us look at an animation showing sequence of filling of atomic orbitals now let us start from the top right to bottom left as shown by the arrow first 1s orbital is completely filled now follow the direction of the arrow we see that next comes the 2s orbital when it is completely filled next electron enters into 2p orbital as per the direction of the arrow next electron enters into 3s orbital when it is completely filled next electron enters into 3p orbital then electrons are filled into 4s 3d 
फोर पी फाइव एस फोर डी फाइव पी सिक्स एस फोर एफ फाइव डी सिक्स पी सेवन एस फाइव एफ सिक्स डी सेवन पी एंड सो ऑन as shown by the direction of the arrow on the screen this particular sequence is based on a rule known as n plus l rule or bohr bury's rule as per this rule the orbitals having a lower value of n plus l are filled before those having higher value of n plus l in case of equal n plus l values the orbital with the lower n value is filled first let us look at the table showing arrangement of orbitals with increasing energy on the basis of n plus l rule for 1s orbital value of n is 1 and value of l is 0 therefore value of n plus l is 1 plus 0 equals to 1 for 2s orbital value of n is 2 and value of l is 0 therefore value of n plus l is 2 plus 0 is equal to 2 for 2p orbital value of n is 2 and value of l is 1 therefore value of n plus l is 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 for 3s orbital value of n is 3 and value of l is Zero. Therefore, value of n plus l is three plus zero is equal to three. For three p orbital, value of n is three, and value of l is one. Therefore, value of n plus l is three plus one is equal to four. For 4s orbital, value of n is 4, and value of l is 0. Therefore, value of n plus l is 4 plus 0 is equal to 4. For 3d orbital, value of n is 3, and value of l is 2. Therefore, value of n plus l is three plus two is equal to five. It is shown here that two p orbital having n equal to two has lower energy than three s orbital having n equal to three, and three p orbital having n equal to three. has lower energy than 4s orbital having n equal to 4 also the energy of 4s orbital is lower than 3d orbital so 4s orbital will be filled before 3d orbital to sum up we can say that according to the offbaus principle the lowest available energy state is filled earlier than the higher available energy state now let us discuss pauli's exclusion principle this principle was proposed by the austrian scientist wolfgang pauli in 1926 this rule restricts the number of electrons to be filled in the various orbitals 
Pauli's exclusion principle states that no two electrons in an atom can have same values for all the four quantum numbers. In this way we can say that in the same atom two electrons can have the same values for three quantum numbers but the value of fourth quantum number must be different. If n, l and m are said to have equal value for two electrons then value of s will be different in them. It will be plus half for one electron and minus half for another electron. Let us take an example to clear it. Let us consider K shell having value of principal quantum number n equal to 1. It contains two electrons in it. What will be the value of azimuthal quantum number L and magnetic quantum number M for them? For K shell, the electrons will have only one value of azimuthal quantum number L which is equal to 0 and one value of magnetic quantum number M which is also equal to 0. What will be the value of spin quantum number or S for them? There may be two values of spin quantum number S. It is either plus half or minus half. This means that although the values of principal quantum number N, azimuthal quantum number L and magnetic quantum number M are the same for the two electrons, but the values of their spin quantum numbers S are different. Thus, the Pauli's exclusion principle may also be stated as an orbital can have maximum of two electrons and these two must have opposite spin. This principle further helps in calculating the electron holding capacity of subshell and finally of a shell. The various subshells are S, P, D and F respectively. The maximum number of electrons in each type of subshell can be determined by the number of orbitals in the subshell as shown on the screen. Number of orbital for S subshell is 1. So it can hold a maximum of 2 electrons. Number of orbitals for P subshell is 3. And hence it can hold a maximum of 6 electrons. Number of orbitals for D subshell is 5 and hence it can hold a maximum of 10 electrons. Number of orbitals for F subshell is 7 and hence it can hold a maximum of 14 electrons. Electron holding capacity of a shell. What is the electron holding capacity of a shell in an atom? How many electrons can be found in a shell? Each electron shell can hold a maximum of 2 n square electrons. Here n is the shell number. By placing value of n, we can calculate value of 2 n square. For K shell, n is equal to 1. Value of 2 n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 square is equal to 2 into 1 is equal to 2. For L shell, n is equal to 2. Value of 2n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 square is equal to 2 into 4 is equal to 8. For M shell, n is equal to 3. Value of 2n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 3 square 
is equal to 2 into 9 is equal to 18. For n shell, n is equal to 4. Value of 2n square is equal to 2 multiplied by 4 square is equal to 2 into 16 is equal to 32. Now it's time to discuss Hunt's rule, which is also known as Hunt's rule of maximum multiplicity. This rule deals with the filling of electrons into the orbitals belonging to the same subshell. This rule states that the pairing of electrons in the orbitals belonging to the same subshell does not take place until each orbital belonging to that subshell has got one electron each. It means that it is singly occupied. Let us take an example to clear this rule. Suppose 3p subshell is having 5 electrons in it. Let us look at the filling of electrons in it with the help of an animation. Students, here we can see a 3p subshell. It has three orbitals named as px, py and pz. First electron enters into px orbital. Second electron enters into py orbital. Third electron enters into pz orbital. At this stage, all p orbitals are singly occupied. Now, fourth electron enters into px orbital. It shows that pairing of electrons take place when all p orbitals are singly occupied. But it is important to note here that the spin of two electrons is different in px orbital. Now, fifth electron enters into py orbital. It shows pairing of electrons in px and py orbitals, whereas pz orbital is singly occupied. Electronic configuration of atom. Before starting our discussion on electronic configuration, it is important to know some important symbols which are commonly used. A box is generally used to represent an orbital. It can be square or circular in shape. An arrow is used to denote an electron. The direction of the arrow gives the correct orientation of its spin. These may be upward and downward pointing arrows. If there are two arrows in an orbital, the direction of first arrow will be upward, while the direction of the second arrow will be downward. In other words, we can say that if one electron is in clockwise motion, the other will be in anti-clockwise motion. An orbital can have only two electrons represented with the help of two arrows in it. The first orbital represents presence of unpaired electron and the second one shows paired electron. This image shows that one electron is present in px orbital of third principal shell. Aau, periodic table de pehle, 10 elements di electronic configuration de nazar mariye. In hydrogen, one unpaired electron is shown in 1s orbital. Its electronic configuration is 1s1. In helium, two electrons having opposite spin are shown in 1s orbital. Its electronic configuration is 1s2. In lithium, two electrons having opposite spin are shown in 1s orbital 
and one unpaired electron is shown in 2s orbital. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s1. In beryllium, two electrons having opposite spin are shown in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2. In boron, two electrons having opposite spin are shown in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. It has one unpaired electron in 2p orbital. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1. In carbon, two electrons having opposite spin are shown in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. It also has two unpaired electrons in 2p orbital. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1. Nitrogen atom has two electrons having opposite spin in 1s and 2s each. It has three unpaired electrons in 2p orbitals. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px1, 2py1, 2pz1. Oxygen atom has two electrons having opposite spin in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. It has one paired and two unpaired electrons in 2p orbitals. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py1, 2pz1. Fluorine atom has two electrons having opposite spin in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. It has two paired and one unpaired electron in 2p orbitals. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py2, 2pz1. Neon atom has two electrons having opposite spin in 1s orbital and 2s orbital each. It has three paired electrons in 2p orbitals. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2px2, 2py2, 2pz2. Electronic configuration of different atoms can be written using the rules we have learnt. Let us start with sodium element having atomic number 11 is shown here. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. Next is magnesium with atomic number 12. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2. Next is aluminium with atomic number 13. Its electronic configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p1. Similarly, 
electronic configuration of other elements can be written as shown on the screen. Let us discuss stability of half filled and fully filled subshells. The electrons present in the outermost shell are known as valence electrons. The half filled and fully filled subshells are more stable. The extra stability of half filled and fully filled subshells is due to symmetrical distribution of electrons in them, relative small shielding, small columbic repulsion energy, higher exchange energy. Let us take some examples to clear it. Atomic number of chromium is 24 is equal to 2, 8, 13, 1. Its electronic configuration is shown here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d5. Though as per rules it should be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d4. That is, 4s should be filled before 3d. Chromium does not show this electronic configuration. And atomic number of copper is 29 is equal to 2, 8, 18, 1. Its electronic configuration is shown here. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s1, 3d10. Though as per rules it should be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d9. That is 4s should be filled before 3d. Copper does not show this electronic configuration. Why is it so? Let us discuss. As chromium has only 5 unpaired electrons in its 3d orbital, it is more stable condition due to symmetrical distribution of electrons resulting in poor shielding of one another and thus more strongly attracted by the nucleus. The stability of D5 subshells can further be explained with the help of exchange energy. Exchange energy is due to stabilizing effect. The stabilizing effect arises whenever two or more electrons with the same spin are present in the D generate orbitals of a subshell. These electrons have a tendency to exchange their positions. The amount of energy released due to these exchanges is known as exchange energy. But what is the impact of exchange energy in case of half filled and completely filled subshell? The number of exchanges that can take place are maximum when the subshell is either half filled or completely filled. As a result, the exchange energy as well as stability is maximum. Possible exchanges for a D5 configuration are shown here. In the first stage, four exchanges by electron 1 are shown here. In second stage, three exchanges 
by electron 2 are shown here. In third stage, two exchanges by electron 3 are shown here. In fourth stage, one exchange by electron 4 is shown here. Greater the number of exchanges, greater is the exchange energy. Similarly, the anomalous electronic configuration of copper with fully filled, that is, five paired electrons in its D subshell can be explained. Students, I hope you will be able to ask the discussion to baad, to anu a topic asan lagriya hovega. To adatyan den le tanwad. Firmalangya. <laughs>